Welcome back, my fellow space explorers. We are back on Jemison here. And uh, we're going to go with Sarah and, I don't know, see whatever we need to see. And um, can continue our journey on to the rest of this game. So, yeah. While we're here, perhaps we should check in with Mateo or Noel. We need to talk to John Tuala. Okay. Mast. <laughs> wow, you can already go different ways. Hmm. Sure, let's ask personal Fine questions. My okay. parents considered themselves to be enlightened, but their lives were so busy they rarely pursued their beliefs. By the time I was old enough to start questioning these things, the idea of following any organized religion was almost an afterthought. It's not that I don't want to believe in anything, it's that my scientific mind is often at odds with my spiritual center. Having been out there, in the Starfield, seeing all those magnificent wonders with my own eyes, I need answers, not religious theory. I'm sorry if that disappoints you, but don't worry. While we're on this journey together, I fully intend to respect your religious beliefs. Hey, don't worry. My religious beliefs are very much tied with science, so my scientific mind and my religious mind are basically one. Which is great for me. <laughs> you mean, apart from being the chair of Constellation for the past five years? Well, let's see. I pride myself with my aptitude for astrodynamics, calculating optimal trajectories for grab jumping. That's been quite useful in the past. And as far as planetary exploration, my area of expertise is botany. So, don't worry. I won't let you eat anything that might put you in the hospital. <laughs> cool. Is there anything you'd like to do for fun besides exploring? Exploration is my entire life. I consider it both a career and recreation. That being said, I will make a confession, but you have to promise to keep it between us. Before I graduated from school, I was in a band. And no, I don't mean the school band. I mean a rock band. Cool. We called ourselves Ironic Comet. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Any videos on name, YouTube about I that? Know. But uh, we were just a bunch of teenagers getting together and having fun. And before you ask, no, I wasn't the lead singer. I actually played the drums. Like Gwen Stacy. The band never really went anywhere, of course, but those were good times, and I remember them fondly. Cool. Certainly. I always enjoy our little chats. Always? This is our first one. <laughs> um, How do you know there was an artifact on Vectera? You can thank Barrett for that, if he's still around to thank when this is all said and done. Honestly, he took this seriously before any of us. It was at his urging that we started doing deep space scans. I will admit, it was something of a shock to see Barrett taking anything seriously. Okay. I guess that's that. Until later. Yeah. So, yeah, we've uh, f finished exploring everything. I'm going to go talk to that guy she mentioned real quick, but after that, if it's nothing important, I'm just going to go. Well, I'm going to go out again, and hopefully uh, Sarah follows us. I have a bit of a cold, um, so if I might sound a bit weird. Also, it's the middle of the day for a change for recording, and uh, my 3D printer's running, and my child is running around, so hopefully it's not too bad. It's you and me from yep. here out. Bye cool. for now. Come on, man. I thought we were going somewhere. Yeah, let me figure out... What am I going to go do? I might actually just explore the town for a little while, because, you know, I haven't seen the edge of the town and stuff, and, like I said, if, if there's something really interesting, I'll bring you guys in, but otherwise, I'll just cut to the next thing. Um, because I have three points, I was thinking maybe I would buy a little bit of persuasion. I just think it's probably going to be useful. It might not be, but this is my first playthrough, so I'm just going to go with it and... We'll see. 
Uh, and I still have two more points to go through. Um, I don't know. I'll pick something at some point here. But I'll bring you guys in ideally when I do that. Unless I really somehow forget. Yeah, I'm just exploring still. I thought this was interesting. Just found this historian here and was saying that there was a bit of a war and then they... Um, they outlawed uh, the use of mechs and xeno weapons, and they're buried underneath this place or something. The ones that they had, which uh, really makes me curious. I mean, is it just a bit of a story plot? Be like, well, this is why there are no giant mechs or xeno weapons that are too weird in the game because we didn't want to develop that, or is it like, I mean, I think it would be freaking cool to like break in down here now. Like, <laughs> that's all I want to do. I want to go out to this lake here. Um, run, body, run. Um, set up some sort of system to uh, stealthily dig to get this technology. And uh, yeah, there we go. Anyway, plans and schemes probably never be realized in this year game. I'm sorry, sir, but we can't sell to you. You see citizens only. Ah! <laughs> I think I understand. And uh, the cost to put me down as a citizen would be... What exactly? Sir, bribery is a crime in the colonies. Fine. Perhaps I'll just be having a chat with your superiors then. Good day. Traveling with a crew. Ah, Bethesda! For the love of God! Ah, I just want to, like, see things. I don't want to be freaking called a criminal when I have a freaking thing. Like, I picked something up. I hate this from you. Ah. Um. Stop in the name of the law. Hey, man. You see security. I didn't. You're do anything. I haven't even left the building. I picked something up for the love of me. Prepare for immediate transport to our vessel. Guys, I am furious right now. <laughs> like, I haven't left the building. Technically, I just touched something, picked it up. I don't think that they should say that this is stealing. I don't know. If you're with me, let me know in the comments. Like, this is kind of a BS mechanic like if you went to a museum yeah you'd get in sh for picking up like for touching the Mona Lisa you'd be in trouble would you be like arrested maybe like if you picked up something off of a table somewhere would you be arrested? You, I think you get what I'm saying. I think you understand my conundrum here. Because, like, I pressed E. I didn't really... You know, within the first... What is this? Three three hours now of the game? Like, I'm still coming to terms with the buttons and such. Um, I would put this thing right back. Right now. Um, as soon as someone said, Oh, you're stealing that. I'd be like, no, I'm not. Like, in real life, right? If you were to pick up something like, Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know I couldn't touch it, right? Like, that's what a normal human being would say. Um, maybe in the next Bethesda game. This is the kind of crap that happened to me also very early on playing Skyrim. I picked up a bow by mistake because I wanted to look at it. Um, you know, you go to someone's house, maybe you pick up a thing, right? Like, here's an Oculus, I could pick that up. Um, a wine glass, you know, pick it up, look at it because it's cool, but <laughs> like to get reported for robbery and be called a thief. I got driven out of their city and I was like, ah, for God's sake, you know, um, yeah, like, ah, okay. Okay, let's talk about this. 
have been authorized to inform you that you're being transferred to the UC Vigilance. You'll find out more when you I didn't there. do anything. Other than that, I'm not at liberty to divulge any additional information. Why can't you just claim you didn't do anything? You here have it back. I don't even don't even want it. I do not want this thing. Like I don't even know what I picked up yet. Oh. This is frustrating for me because it's like in real life you could talk to the police officer and be like you could talk about it, right? You could run, but would you run? Not most most people wouldn't run. It's a video game. People would probably run. Um Am I going to jail? Like Like I'm kind of ready to just quit the game, <laughs> you know? Hmm. I I think it's because of my experience in Skyrim too. It's just like this is it's just such a like did no playtester come up with this? Like scenario um Bethesda if you're watching this please change this this is garbage like just have an option here have it back like I didn't mean to take it like <laughs> even if you were an idiot person out there like this person would be like oh okay fine don't touch anything you know and probably the harshest, strictest thing. This is like... I kind of just want to... I don't really have a weapon, though. <laughs> so it's like... Yeah, I can't even roleplay this how I would as me. Because, like, I just... They're bringing me to some place. To a ship. Without talking to me. And... I would go with a police officer and be like, hey man, like, this is what happened. Um, like, I'm sorry I picked up the thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Alright, well, I think in many other circumstances, for it being a game, I would probably a attack them? I hate this. Oh guys, um, welcome back to Starfield. I I'm probably going to go with I'm ready because I do want to come back to this space as far as I know, maybe, probably, like I don't freaking know. It's so far like being a new character into the game, I don't know. Um Like I don't have the context of the universe, right? Like you do in real life, you don't have in universe common sense because you don't know i'm thinking i'll do the i'm ready thing to go you know what i might just start a whole new game and just come back and not pick up a stupid thing because this is dumb okay i'm not a criminal anymore though she did turn her back on me as soon as i looked at her I, what I did is I went back into Steam. I just stopped the game. Killed it. Because, like... Yeah, I just figured if I'm, if I'm going to restart it, I'm going to try that. Um, I guess the key is to not click on things at all in any of these games. I wish I had the ear of someone working at Bethesda. Um, because... This is, like, the second time this BS mechanic has come to get me. Like, why not come and arrest me for walking up here? Why not? Because, like, it's just probably worse. Um. Okay, let's get on with the game. This is a strange vertex. Hmm. Can I slip and fall and die? I don't know. I guess we're gonna find out. 
Woo. I'm definitely flipping. Hey, hi, how's it going? <laughs> okay, so that was like this building, I guess. Got a mission for listening to a police officer talk about the bartender complaining. You know, I kind of like this system. This O2 CO2 thing. I really like that for the use of a stamina bar. It's, it really like gets in your brain like, you know, you only have so much oxygen and such. Okay. I'm going to just hopefully not wreck anything here. I'm sorry, sir, but we so, can't sell to you. You see citizens only. So take. I really wish there was just an, a look button. What the heck is this thing? Sculpture. Value. Nothing, because, like, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't even want it. just wanted to freaking look at it. Um. Hi. Welcome to Feeling Realty. I'm Zora, and I'm here to help with whatever you may need. What brings you in today? Looking to settle down, or move up in the world, or just window shopping? I just wonder. Why? It happens all the time. I never mind an opportunity to chat with someone new. I'm here if you have any more questions, or if you'd like to look at properties. Cool. Um. I will come back and talk to you another time. Enjoy your time in New Atlantis. Let me be. Okay, for the rest of this episode, let's just get to the actual thing we're supposed to do. This space is a memorial to those lost during the colony war. Your consideration is requested. Yeah, no worries, man. Um, let's turn on this. I've apparently scanned less now because I didn't look around the same areas, but I'm sure I'll be back because I'm not a criminal. <laughs> Sarah, good to see you. Who's your friend? Hopefully Constellation's newest member. Thought I'd run through some legwork together. Uh, another space That's not explorer. weird. Hey, you know, you're talking to someone 30 feet away right? from you. <laughs> Help the United Colonies earn some credits, even get your UC citizenship. Um, I was listening to that business guy, and I don't think you can do that. I don't know. Maybe later. All right, all right. Can't blame me for trying, right? I mean, I still haven't given up on getting Sarah to re-enlist. It's a game we play. He asks. I say no. Here's what I got for you two. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Helps patrol the old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. The Soul System? Which Admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian, born and raised. Not like I can get anyone else to care. Word is he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Matches that description Sarah gave me. Scientific discovery being used as an ornament? The indignity! I mean, not really, it's not indignity, it's just what people are like. Hey, that's okay. Vanguards risk their lives every day to keep people safe. So what if he doesn't understand whatever this fancy thing of yours is? Ooh. Easy there, John. We don't have our saw points. Everyone agrees we need to talk to your vanguard about what he found. Let's leave it at that. All right, I'll let it slide. No good for the recruiting office to be seen arguing with the civs anyway. Soul system is a lot of planets. But a vet like Moera will be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. I do have that mission to talk to someone, so... Um... Yeah, bring a coloring book. You get so used to seeing red, you'll forget what blues and greens look like. <laughs> you'll have to ask him. Did he say where he found it? Volunteers have retrieval rights if they get into a scrap. 
Wouldn't be surprised if he found it off of a pirate or something like that. It's definitely a lifestyle, burning helium out there, seeing where the stars take you. I'm serious about that recruitment offer, by the way. You just come talk to me when you're ready. UC is a good friend to have. Well, once I have a better understanding of this universe, maybe. Okay, so the Vanguard is obviously, yeah, leading edge of the civilian or whatever, the defense force. Um, I missed that. I don't know what that said. Because I was too busy talking. Whoa there, guy. You don't want to frickin' get shot because you accidentally pulled out something. In this case, a weapon. <laughs> I'm going to leave that there. Okay, so this would be, I guess, the parts to explore while I am scanning the planet. Alright, well, who knows? We'll see what we do. There seems to be some runes or something and something more. I might spend some time on this planet getting to know the game a bit better without just, like, just to whoa, get a little bit better feeling of all this. Yeah, let me just figure out where this bar is. I've got to find my, like, objectives list. Like, I don't know if they, maybe they don't have it in this game, but we'll see. Okay, so I finally figured it out. It's the L button. Wonderful. I, I've just been exploring by myself because there's cool things to see. Um, we've got all kinds of things to do, so... Yeah, I think this is the one that I was kind of curious about, because, I don't know, it just sounded kind of interesting. Um, it's kind of cool that they have this, because you can, you know, if you're lost in the game, um, you're not motivated to do anything just intrinsically, you can find one of these things and just be completionist about it and just start doing all the things, right? That's kind of cool. I mean... I ho I don't think I'll have to leave the planet without actually going to my ship. So maybe I'll just get these mission these ones done, and then I don't know. Maybe I'll do these as like a smaller little quick aside. I don't know. I'll figure out how to edit this later. Hard to believe it's been two decades since we were at war with the collective, when it seems like only yesterday. Unless you've got embassy business, I suggest you mosey along. All right, tall, dark, and scary. I like this uh, water feature here. This is in the, their embassy. Yes, exactly. It's like, like, when someone insults you, you want to just beat the <laughs> shit out of them sometimes, but you don't. <laughs> well, not quite what I was thinking, but that's actually a great example, Marcus. The man in the story was cruel. Do you know why he was cruel? You must feel what he feels, understand his pain, accept it, and deliver it not back upon you. Empathy? You mean empathy? But you say it like it's easy. Like anyone can just love a terrible person who has been terrible to them. Yeah, why even bother? I mean, isn't the cycle of humanity peace and war back and forth like forever? Seems kind of pointless to try so hard for something that won't last. Nothing ever really changes. No, it's not easy, no, but necessary. Because you see, everything has changed. God has given us the intelligence, the ingenuity to reach to the stars, to travel this path, to try to fight. We can't do it alone. The only way is through unity. Ah, yes, Andreas. Yes, unity. Unity. If I open up a random door, am I gonna get in trouble? Now I'm just like afraid to do stuff in the game, right? Without, like, it causing problems. Definitely don't press E for any of these things. I guess as long as no one sees, but, like... Like, I want to see what this is, right? So... I don't want to 
steal it, I want to look at the picture. That's what I want. But I guess we'll just assume that it's a game and we're just not allowed to do anything There's like so that. Many mysteries in the universe, so many unknowns that I try to help out others whenever I get the chance. Ah, uh, goodbye. I have things to do. Yeah, I'm just exploring the city or outside the city, mining lead because, you know, super valuable and all that. Um, uh, yeah, I'm definitely intrigued. I'm going to explore this planet for sure um, before I leave, but I'll do it a bit on my own time. Might have just gotten myself into trouble. I'm gliding down the edge of a mountain. Just because I was curious to see what happens. <laughs> just slid down the side of that cliff. I like this rock texture. This is pretty cool. It's, uh, it looks like it's, I don't know, from a game developer standpoint, I, I really think it's pretty cool. Keep hearing Sarah, and I'm like, <laughs> like, what is this? Is there like a wild animal out here with me? So, this section here, I wasn't really intending to do much. I was just kind of hoping to catch something interesting. And, uh, didn't have, I guess, my mic on and didn't have the desktop audio, so it's a little bit odd here with the recording. So I'm just going to do a bit of a voiceover for the rest of this here. I spent some time scanning everything that I could find that was pretty much along the way to any landmarks I could find. And there was a couple of interesting ones. There was like a cave and a um, uh, there was like a farm thing. So the farm thing is the interesting thing. That's where this episode <laughs> gets starts to lead me down a road in the future. And this is about where the path... I figured this game would take my game life. Just changed everything. Here you can see a farm and, I don't know, some ship <laughs> land. Maybe it's the farmer's truck in this age. You know, have you seen the size of these trucks lately? I mean, so who knows? Okay, so this is an autonomous farm, and I thought that was pretty neat. So I figured I would look around, because it seemed like an interesting place to see what was here. So I looked around, and here, in the top right, you can see the crew from that ship is walking towards us. Not ominous in its own right. There's some more stuff here that they use for farming. This is about when I decided I know what the take button actually means and now i'm a game criminal <laughs> not proud now this i figured was the owner or manager of the farm and i'm like yep you ask me to leave i can do that if you ask nicely but now things start to go wrong bravely run away um where is sarah um i guess she really likes a good fight well I guess this is now an extraction game. And one down. And I'm down. <laughs> no. Found some neat creatures. And here's another neat creature. They weren't that friendly. Ouch. Dem's mean. And here it was trying to talk to me about this outpost beacon. And so I was just trying to figure out what that post beacon thing is about. Uh, are you trying to tie my shoelaces together? Attack! I guess we scared it away. <laughs> nope. <laughs> it's like a bird that flies into a window. Okay, back to the farm. Here's that ship. Pew, pew, pew. Fight time lapse. Bing, 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 pew, bing, pew, pew, pew. Bing, 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 Pew, pew, pew. 
And here's getting on to that ship. Pew, pew, pew. Ah. pew, 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 I guess this one's mine now. I really do hate pirates uh, in real life. And so I don't really mind taking their ship away, though I kind of understand how this is a rather hypocritical thing of mine here. So uh, yeah, all right. So what is this ship here? Crimson Fleet Ghost. Does look pretty neat. Uh, I really don't know how it compares to the other ship at this point. So I'm going to have to figure out the differences at some point. Okay, time to clear out the rest of the pirates. Stop! And now that they're all gone, just sort of a final exploration of the rest of this space. Uh, yeah, I didn't really find a whole lot more. And then I went back to just sort of random exploring again. What? Why is there a terror morph on this planet? I thought I left that behind. Um, oh well. We tried to fight it a little bit, and uh, at some point I felt like this wasn't a battle I could win right now, and I, I vowed to come back and fight it later, after I probably got some more levels and some more guns and such that were better. back to the city all right fellow space explorers thanks for watching and um yeah the second half of this one i know was a bit odd um but i had to leave it in because i ended up recording much more gameplay and that ship leads down a road and needed to be in there um contextually to make later episodes <laughs> make sense so if you liked this episode hit that like button if you're excited to see what goes on with this red ship Make your guess in the comments. Maybe, I mean, the game's not new now um, because of how long it took me to get this particular episode out because of the busyness of October. But if you are interested to find out what happens, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications. And yeah, if you think you know anybody who would be interested in this kind of content, share it with your friends or on Reddit or any other kind of social site that you think would be good for it. All right, fellow space explorers, I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.